So some people think that this whole thing is a marketing ploy, a secret marketing ploy, a sinister plan by Samsung to sell as many Samsung Galaxy S22s as possible. In this video, we're going to discover why all that is nonsense. Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. We have a problem. As you may or may not know, there is a global supply chain issue. You might have heard this being referred to as the chip shortage. And this supply chain issue is causing two problems in relation to the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. First problem, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is in high demand, but there could be a supply shortage because of the supply chain issue. So people that reserve the phone or pre-order the phone are going to get their phone sooner than later. So I'll drop a link down below so you can reserve that phone right now and also get $50 free Samsung credit just for reserving. And with reservation, there is no obligation. If you buy, you benefit. If you don't buy, you move on. So that link is going to be down below. Now, the second problem for Samsung because of the supply chain problems is that Samsung could potentially release the S22 and the S22 Plus a little bit later than the S22 Ultra. So the phone is going to be announced on February the 9th. That's the day that the pre-orders are going to activate. And then you're going to get the phone in your hands, the S22 Ultra, on February the 25th. But if you order an S20 and an S20 Plus, it is going to be delayed to March 11th. And this is according to a reliable leak that we have had in the last few days. A couple leaks actually that have stated this potential problem. So that's that. Now the real problem is something that I want to address is that some people, not most people, but a minority of people think that this is a marketing ploy by Samsung to increase their sales that they are injecting this information out to the leakers, making it look like there's a supply chain issue, which in turn is gonna make people go nuts and reserve the phone right now, or just attack the phone the date's released. So that's the latest conspiracy theory in relation to the S22. Now, what's the evidence for this theory? Gut feeling. Now, let me show you what a supply chain issue looks like in the real world. Here's a couple photos and here is another photo with the title from an actual news organization that states experts say this issue could last for another couple of years. So it's real. But there's something else that a lot of people simply don't seem to realize. And it is obvious it's staring people directly at their faces. The way corporations make sales is not through leaks. Yes, the leaks do help a little bit. But you know what really helps? Spending billions and billions of dollars on advertising and marketing. If you don't invest in advertising and marketing, aka propaganda, you're not going to sell your products. Here's a graphic of how much money Samsung invests in advertising and marketing. This is from 2014 to 2020. So as an example, just in 2020, they spent $1.81 billion in advertising. And guess what? That's what sells a product. These are the basics of running a business. And look at that. In 2019, they spent almost $2 billion in marketing. That is an insanely large advertising budget. And I can guarantee you it has far more effect than just leaks. The leaks do help, but this is the real thing right here. Marketing advertising. Now there might be some controlled leaks here and there, but that's not a big deal. Not as big a deal as people make it out to be. The real thing is those massive billion dollar budgets by these large companies, not just Samsung, also Apple. I mean, iPhones became popular in an age where we had minimum leaks. Anyway, that is what I wanted to talk about in this video real quick. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.